Our heads are about the same size. Period. Hey guys, welcome back to another CNN Talk. Um, CNN Talks is where you guys send us messages via this email address and we share them with our audience and give you our thoughts and feedback and we also allow the audience to participate by commenting in the comment section sections tell us what you think but remember to always be respectful because this one's a triangle where only two corners know what's going on mm, think about that this is juicy i think this one is a good one because it is well by the time you guys see this it won't be valentine's day but it's valentine's day for us and yeah we're in vegas you want me to read it or you to read it no go ahead i read the last one okay Okay. Hello, Chris and Nikki. I'm a huge fan of your channel, especially the CNN Talks segment. I'm having a little trouble myself and would love you two's input on the situation. FYI, it's not about age gap, but I am a married black male that love everything about you two. Backstory, I married the woman of my dreams just about 22 years ago. We share one child together and live the life of an average middle class American family. My wife is a high school teacher and was pretty supportive of my once hectic work schedule. I'm now a retired police officer. Sounds great, right? In 2000, while I was on duty during a normal traffic stop, I met this beautiful woman. To keep a long story short, a few days after that traffic stop, I had my very first affair. I figured that it would be a one and done thing, so I never once felt guilty about it. However, she kept coming back and a one and done quickly led to an 18 year on and off affair. I say on and off because she too is married and any time her husband would press her with questions, we'd cool it for a bit. Hell, even after she had children, we still maintained our relationship. But about two weeks ago, she said she's done with us and I'm absolutely heartbroken. I think I might love her more than my wife. She's nothing like my other flings. We've traveled together and I've even introduced her to some of my closest buddies. Chris and Nikki, I need guidance of what on what? On what I should do. I love my wife and my mistress, but my mistress has an upper hand on my wife because she's always willing to go that extra mile to pleasure me whenever I want. I would never leave my wife in a part knows that she knows about my secret life, which doesn't help. Signed, any advice would be greatly appreciated. Rob. Oh, Rob. Oh, Rob. I'm, I'm, I'm really not laughing at the situation. I'm just laughing at why do some of you put yourselves in situations like this? You're digging yourself a horrible hole. And the deeper it goes, the worse it gets, and then others fall into it, and that's where the pain is. It's one thing if you're only hurting yourself, but once you start hurting others, that's when it's just it, it's you should know better. You know, I, I assume that he's he's got well, he's he's been married for 22, so he was he's got to be in his 40s. So you know, you know, but the the difference between right and wrong, officer. I feel like, oh, like, just to know that your mistress is also married, like, that's just so sticky. And then I just have so many questions because, like, how do you not know that, well, I don't know how they have intercourse, but how do you not know that you never, like, birthed one of her children? That's a whole nother. Uh, yeah, that's not, so sticky. He's not even concerned about that. That's that. That's not even. And then an other flings is there too. So it's more than just a mistress. But I would say you're dealing with something much deeper than being in love with two women. I honestly think. I think that in order to find the true answers, you need to search within yourself because something ain't right. Um, I don't know if it's like a sex addiction or I don't know. It's just. A 18 year affair that's a long time and it's a long time and it's and it's it's close to probably impossible to clear that up uh, I'm sure your wife I bet you she knows yeah he Women, said that, that he feels like she if, knows if you feel like it then it's probably a hundred percent because I would never leave my wife and a part of me knows that she knows about my secret life which doesn't help 
And then why stay somewhere where you're not happy if you're feeling like you're in love with someone else? Like, why put yourself through that? Is it because of the time? Well, it sounds like he loves her, too. I mean, he cannot have his mistress because she's already... You know, once you do that, I can't imagine uh, if you would marry your mistress, how you would ever trust them. Yeah, because Knowing then, they're already in a super secret relationship. Yeah, because it. Let, let's just say he did cool it off with his wife and then marry the mistress. How do you? He, does he not know that the mistress won't cheat on him? Because the same way you get them is the same way you lose them. And and, and I truly believe in karma. And does the mistress even know about these other flings? I mean, does he? Does she think that that she's the only one? If if he so if he's having other flings, what's to say she she isn't as well? I just it's just too much, too much, man, too much. I don't know. You guys sound off in the comments. Let us know what you think, and let's help Rob out. I honestly feel like Rob needs to just cool it out with everybody, and like search within himself and figure out what's the real problem. Because I think it might be a sex addiction and him placing his heart where his penis is basically because he's saying he only feels that he loves the mistress more because she goes that extra mile to please him whenever he wants and yeah that's the only thing that i could think of but yeah i, I don't know yeah you you should uh seek professional help an honest to goodness relationship person to talk to uh I know just from from uh, the years that I've been around, I would say that uh, there must be some kind of guilt. I hope you you feel some kind of guilt, or or what does that say about you? If you don't feel bad at, at some point of all this, yeah. And if you'll just flip it around, I mean, I can't imagine putting someone through that and knowing what it would do to me yeah. if, if it happened to me. So, um, you know, my, there, there's no way you can uh, salvage your marriage by telling her the truth and saying you want to come clean. I mean, oh, after 18 years, I want to tell you what I've been doing behind your back. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I feel like a woman intuition is never like off and wrong. If that wife doesn't know, like he said, he feels that she does know. I mean, I honestly don't feel like you can be in a relationship that long and not know when your partner has changed. And and I've I've been around a lot of football players, and I know when I would play football, a lot of our teammates, uh, you could tell when their wives were in town and when they weren't. I mean, they really acted different, mm -hmm. and um, they know. Because every one of them that would play the, that, the, the wife, women, yeah, knows, it, it yeah. always came out. I believe out. the wife knows, but I, I'm not sure why she's staying. The, the guys would, the guys would be unless like, she's doing her dirt too on the side. I don't know. That's yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, and I, then the kids involved. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't support, uh, I wouldn't uh, support either of the relationships. I yeah. think that that uh, that you definitely need to, to just cut off the mistress I and, mean, and i even... also think too sorry for cutting you off but i also think too that you better watch who you telling your dirty secrets to because the minute you guys fall out those buddies that you're showing your mistress to might go and whisper to your wife so you better watch it and that's just that's not even the first thing you should worry about yeah i mean really um anybody could could find out it doesn't even have to be any of your friends i mean and depending on a hotel worker or, or just, uh, his kids or yeah, whatever I mean, why but, would you want to hurt your children like that yeah everything about it is wrong just stop it just cut it off it, it's more than a midlife crisis it, it sounds like a, a really bad situation that that just there's nothing funny about it mm -hmm. it's just the, I guess the only reason that I'm thinking about laughing about it is that life is hard enough as it is. Why would you do that? Put yourself much less the people that you love. So, um, and I do have to say, like, kudos to you for even having the guts to message us or email us that because 
I don't know. That one's speechless for, I don't know. And, we and, haven't gotten any men to actually message us. So this one was the The, the deeper different. part, let me, let me tell you this. The, the best thing, you know, after you, after you have uh, a marriage that failed, even though my ex-wife and I are friends and uh, we support each other, you learn a lot from the first mistakes that you make. And everyone that I've learned, I'm not making them the second time around. The things that I didn't communicate well, I'm communicating, uh, even if it hurts, when I tell her that these are my thoughts, these are my things that I'm thinking about. And I just really just, I, I'm an open book. I just share my feelings and, and it really helps because Nikki's quiet. She's sh shy and she doesn't play. She doesn't put up with nothing. So I just rather just talk to her about everything. And, but she's smart and caring enough to, to know that none of us are perfect. So she hears my, my thoughts and my, and she respects my opinion. And then we talk it out. We just, it's so much better. And I, just the last time that we had a disagreement, it was like, guess what? For a week, 10 days of no communication. And, and I was like, sweetie, it was not 10 days. It okay. was literally if, six days. Okay. It feels like a, a month. I hate not I, when we he over exaggerates well, everything. Yeah. <laughs> but, but once I just say, okay, I, I just want to talk it out. Let's just, I know you've been wanting this all to go away, in my opinion. Let's just talk it out. And, man, afterwards, I was like, oh, my gosh. And we get closer. Yeah. yeah. So much closer. I mean, it's, it's just a so, sweet feeling. Even we have our disagreements, and everything that we're telling you guys is what we go through. Like, we we have to stick on communication That's, because if you don't, oh man, then it, it's, it's the deal breaker. Communication. Honestly. Communication. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is is the root of a relationship um you can have crazy thoughts mm -hmm. you, and and if i tell her a crazy thought i mean um then she can tell me when i said it out loud i mean we talk about it and, and it's so much better yeah. so i'm um, to go back to rob yeah communicate with your mistress tell her that you know that that she is right or if you've already said that she ended it you don't even need to go back there and tell her yeah just stay away just just stay away and keep you and not let her come and uh, you'll reach back out to you yeah but even with the other flings just stop because i don't know it just sounds all bad let's just say the mistress husband find out and just come directly to you and and i'm really, coming to you man to man yeah i think so. if you ever have those urges and if you don't want to talk about to a, a, a real therapist about maybe addictions that you may have or mm -hmm. demons, before you act upon anything, think about okay, what would happen if my if my daughter knew that I was doing this? What would happen if my wife knew? How would it feel? How would I feel? And man, the, all those little urges that you would have, I'm betting you would go right out that window. Yeah. That's, Chris, that's Chris, do you feel like your urge when I mean did you ever think about the bad I mean who you would affect oh when you uh, had yours the 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 first time around when my first marriage no I, I just I, I, I thought with my penis I just didn't I wasn't yeah. thinking so he's telling you from his experiences do not think with your second hit and and that's where that that is a positive of our age gap because not everybody, I, I don't think that we would be together if we were the same age. I wasn't mature enough. Mm -mm. I'm, I mean, and, and I'm still, uh, depending on who you talk to, uh, not mature enough. I, like, I still got a kid inside of me. But when it comes to seriousness, it comes to this lady who I adore and worship, I am going to think of all the bad things before... Uh, it's just, it's not worth it. Even if, you know, all guys, I mean, I, when I, when I, I'm around guys and every guy talks about, all guys talks about, uh, is, is, you know, their thoughts and different things. And, and, uh, uh, you know, a lot of guys and maybe women do too, you know, they have, uh, you know, women have their thoughts. little girl talks, but I feel like if you can't go to a counselor or a can't go directly to his wife he needs to go to one of his buddies or closest friends because what you are doing is not normal 
what you are doing is hurting lots of people and what you are doing is going to come back and bite you in the butt 10 times harder. And, and I, the only thing I, I understand what you're saying, but I wouldn't go to your friend. Do not because friends are made to be broken. Go to someone that's a professional that you could actually sue if they spoke about you, you know, that it's against the law for their rules to speak about you. You need confidence. You need total. No, go to the police officers because, you know, oh, police shit. officers always got the blue coat of silence. They mm -hmm. always have each other back. So tell one of your police officer buddies that you trust. And I wouldn't do that because they're going to I mean, <laughs> blackmail your ass off. But, but um, yeah, y'all, let us know in the comments what you guys think and how you, what advice you would give the Rob. Rob just all types of messy, but thank you for supporting our channel, Rob. And do y'all know anybody like Rob? Do you and, and do you just Or can you relate to Rob at yeah, all? Yeah, can you relate to Rob or do you know any Robs that you and, and how do you deal with it? Do you because I'm sure that that um you like like Nikki has heard things about my friends and she and, and we share those thoughts and she tells me her opinion. Do you ever talk to your spouse about their friends? Yeah, just if I was the wife of Rob, I don't care the amount of time we've been together. I would walk away so quickly. My tolerance for men are just really low. So, yeah, kids, no kids, I don't care. That's why I'm on my I just feel like it's just so disrespectful. Like, you couldn't possibly love me. Like, I don't know. But, yeah, you guys sound off in the comments. We will read them all. <laughs> Let us know what you think, and we'll see you guys in the next CNN talk. Whenever we do these talks, it, it gets so emotional for me. I love my feelings and just... Okay, sweetie. I love giving you advice, and it just makes me... You also know my ponytail. So much in love with my wife. She's so smart, so brilliant, and just got an excellent uh, mind for her friends. Her friends always reach out to her. She could have her own in she doesn't even need to see in, but you like it. But it's better with CNN. Yeah, it is. I better. think cause, because given the male perspective, female perspective, and then our age gap, I have a good touch on it. But anywho. Speaking um, of good touch, this is some good touching. Okay, stop squeezing my thighs. They're sore. Okay, so anyways, we will see you guys in our next CNN talk, and we hope you enjoy. If we get time to film another video, we will, so don't judge us for being in the same outfits. All right, all right.